Hey guys, uh, Pooler Knives and Steel here. Uh, this knife needs no introduction. If you uh, follow anybody in the knife community, you probably have heard about this. But if you haven't, this is the Spyderco Southern, designed by uh, Brad Southern and produced by Spyderco. Now, this is not the stock scale. Um, this is a scale made by Steve Ketchin. And his email is sketch and scales, uh, sketch en scales at gmail.com. He has a wait list at the moment. Uh, I do not know his Instagram name. I'm sorry, I should have checked it. Uh, if I remember or if I look it up, I will try to link it or at least tell you what it is. <laughs> um, beautiful scale. He really did an outstanding job. I mean, you know, I've worked with wood before and it burns really easy. This is a Koa wood. He's got a very nice stain. It looks amazing in all different lights. Um, <clears throat> so, that is that. Um, I got this. I think it's been owned by two people. I'm not sure. Uh, I know at least two people have owned this knife. So, the first one was maybe three. I don't know. So... Steve at Sketch and Scales, and then uh, Nest for Knives, that's all I know. Um, the previous owner before Nest for Knives um, has given it a wicked edge. Sorry, it's not clean right here. I use this blade all the time. It's amazing. So, yeah, it's an amazing flipper, and uh, let's see if I can do this. It is uh, super smooth. Um, I got it from Nestor Knives. It had this uh, scratching on the uh, pocket clip. I'm not sure what that's from. I don't really care. I mean, it's still an awesome knife, and that's an easy fix if I wanted to, which I probably will in the near future. But uh, you know, it works for now. You can see that over travel done by Steve. Um, if you can get a good look at this scale, I have to kind of tilt it so the light hits it. You know, and you can actually see it. But absolutely phenomenal work. Um, there are a few places where it's not perfect, um, but you know, for such an amazing piece of work, it's not really um, that that big of a deal for me. Uh, I think that I like to think that I got a pretty good deal on this. I saw one of these going for three hundred, pimped by uh, Alexander Dietz. So you know, I think I got a a pretty good deal. Um, this. This is an awesome knife, guys. If you can pick one up, you definitely should. That flipping action is worth it alone. You know, it's a pretty nice knife. Uh, so, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure there's been reviews done on this before, but I'm going to go over some things that I dislike about this knife before I get into all of the things that I do like. Um, first of all, this pocket clip, it doesn't look sharp, but it really is. It's stabbed through my pocket before, um, and that kind of bugs me. And the angles around it are pretty sharp, too. Um, and then right here on this lock uh, relief, lock bar cutout, it's really sharp on these, and you don't really notice it if you're unless you're flipping it a lot, and that really bugs me. Other than that, there's really nothing to complain about. Um, it could be a little bit more chamfered, at least right there, because when you flip it like that, my uh, knuckle, or whatever you want to call that, hits, and it, it's kind of sharp. Uh, I don't know if this was the previous owner, whoever touched it up on the Wicked Edge, but there's a burr right here at the tip that still is there. Um, but they did a nice job sharpening it. It's razor sharp. Uh, so, not too much to complain about. I love this finish. Um, most people that I've talked to, they say that they don't like the wooden scale. It's all a matter of opinion. It's more dressy, um, and that's not really my style, which is why I want to make my own titanium scale. So that should be fun for me. Um, yeah, guys, it's super ergonomic. Um, the jimping up here isn't, isn't the best, uh, but, you know, it, it works okay. And the spider hole is more of a trademark than an actual functionality, but if you hook it right, you can get it. <clears throat> uh, this is right side tip-up carry. Uh, this is my preferred carry style. You just grab onto the butt of the knife, and when you pull it out, it's uh, ready to go. And there is a half flipping this. I mean, it is possible, as you saw there. 
Um, but if you really just push on it, it, it deploys every single time. And uh, that's something I really like. Um, so, you know, it's just an awesome knife all around. Although I do notice he didn't put a lanyard hole in here. That's not a big deal. Um, Nestor and I have sent over the original scale. Or he, he gave me the option of three, and I ended up uh, cutting the deal with another guy, giving that to him. Uh, he sent all the extra hardware. There's a little tubing thing that goes in here to keep your lanyard safe, whatever you want to put on there. Uh, but other than that, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, if you're not subscribed to me, please do. Uh, I'm a beginning collector and beginning knife maker, so, you know, you will see more um, from me. I hope to be doing some pimp jobs very soon. Uh, but I am on the list for a pretty sweet knife. Uh, if you don't know who Jake Holbeck is, go find out. And, you know, maybe if you're smart, you'll uh, figure it out. But he does some awesome work, and I hope to be getting some of that very, very soon. So, uh, there will be a review of that uh, from a beginner knife standpoint. Uh, also, you know, check out my Instagram, PKS Polar Knives and Steel. Sorry, I blanked out right there. Brain fart. Um, so, you know, this is a knife made by me. A lot of custom stuff up there. Uh, if you like pictures of knives, you like uh, giveaways and stuff that uh, other people do, <laughs> uh, you know, check it out. Uh, sorry to waste your guys' time, guys. I'm just ranting at this point. It's getting late. Uh, need some sleep. So, you know, Spider Coast Southern, awesome knife. Please get it. Uh, pull my knives and steel. Out.